that hammering can drive a man crazy. Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. Where we are just having a fun time. Just doing a casual playthrough of Dark Souls. Really not trying to do anything fancy or anything speedrunny or just anything like that. We're just actually having a good time. In the last episode we killed the Moonlight Butterfly. Probably one of the easier bosses for us to kill right now. So nothing super special but you know we did it. It feels good. Uh, we upgraded our Claymore to a Claymore plus 5 just because I want more damage. See, and now I one-shot these guys instead of two-shot these guys. And then I one-shot this guy instead of two-shot this guy. And then I one-shot this guy. And it just makes your life a lot easier, right? So that's how we did it. Um, over here we have our friend, the big scary guy. Hello, big scary guy. He's got a very large shield. I'm sure you guys noticed. So you got to be careful. I like to lure him out here where he's like away from the people inside. Because the people inside are annoying. And then, yeah, he is very strong. So be careful about him. He will F your shit up. And uh, he is not backstabbable, so I think he's not backstabbable, I'm not actually sure. But just space yourself well. He will do very like, op leave himself open after very big attacks. It makes him kind of easy to fight. I took a hit of damage because I'm very bad at the game. That's okay though. Sweet. Now the hardest part of the game is actually coming up right now. Like literally like the hardest part. There's these two, okay, so not actually, there's a boss in the game that I think is the hardest part of the whole game, but... There's these stupid like 8,000 minions and they're all very very annoying and they can give you problems so you might want to You might want to be like just a little bit careful when you go on this corner There's a mage guy that shoots the F out of you and then when you go here you will get black step Now he's buffing them as you can see and they are a lot of them and as I mentioned before, they will kill you via numbers. They will kill you via numbers, not via skill. Via numbers. There's just, there's just so many more of them than there are of you. They are buffed. So they actually attack really fast and they hit very hard. But luckily they are still hollows. So they are still stupid. Okay. When he's the only one left, it's super easy. You can get that pike to drop. It's actually pretty decent. If you guys can get that to drop, that's a pretty rare drop. But go for it. I would advise you go for it. It's, it's actually a pretty good weapon. I actually like it a lot personally. Are we human? Is that the face of a human or is that the face of a hollow? That is the face of a hollow. Okay. So we need to be human to be able to summon the next two partners you can have. I feel like the two guys down there have aggroed me, but they're not sure if they've aggroed me. Yet. Oh, is there a Bolden Knight here? I always thought it was a freaking uh, normal hollow dude. Huh. That's that's interesting. I always thought there was just a normal hollow guy here. I didn't actually know there was a Bolden Knight up here. Kind of, kind of weird. I don't know if that was always like that. I kind of get the feeling that it was not always like that, but I could be wrong. Okay. Anyway. Going around here, there's a hollow in a box. I just per I just choose to believe not to ask questions about this. Because I'm like, what is he in why is he in there? What is he doing in there? Etc. etc. You know, lots of lots of such questions. So come through here and we'll save a horrible person who's actually a good person but also a bad person. It's 50-50. We haven't actually decided yet. Well, I'm in hollow form right now. Could you help me? Mm. As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Mm. Open. Okay, we use the mystery key. We get. We get. Thank you. Yes, sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this, and I guarantee a reward, only later. His reward is he tries to kill me. Excuse me. Now, if you were human, because you're good at the game, unlike me, who is bad at the game and retarded, you could um, summon Lord Trick and Soleil for the next boss fight. Now, unfortunately, I am a retard, and I am not human, and to become human would take too much effort to run all the way back 
get the thing that makes me human. Come all the way back here. Kill all these people without taking too much damage again. It's just too much effort. So I'm just going to go fight the goggles as is. But I would advise if you wanted to, you could like, um, you could not. And then there will be a Lortrix summoning right here, I think. Or a Soleil summoning. I'm actually not sure if it's Soleil or Lortrix here. And then on the other side, not here, but up there, I think is the other summoning for Lortrix or Soleil as well. So you summon Lortrix and Soleil and you can actually just, yeah, there's one right here. Then you can actually enter this foggate and you don't have to do anything. You can go sit in a corner and have some tea, have some coffee, maybe get a snack. And Lord Trick and Soleil will 100% solo kill this boss. I'm not even kidding you. I'm being legit serious. Me though, I don't have that luxury. So I will fight them by myself. Calm goggles, I'm ready. Well, these guys aren't weak. So, you know, don't, don't underestimate them. They've got good attacks and they are very, very fast and nimble. And they can give you some problems. They can definitely give you some problems. I'm just saying this goggle looks pretty stony and like groundy, like he's been there for a while. Has no one else tried to ring this bell in all these years? Because I would think someone else at some point was like, let's go ring the bell, guys. And the goggles have to defend the place, but apparently not. So you kind of want to just get a hit in, maybe you can. Yeah, don't roll like that, obviously. We want to maybe chop his tail off too, we can. There we go, got the guard, got the tail, that's pretty cool. He doesn't like that we took his tail, obviously. Pop a heal. That was a risky heal, but it worked out great. So, as you can see, if you have a level uh, 5 Claymore, the fight is pretty easy. This guy's a problem because he uses flame attacks and I don't appreciate that. He doesn't have a tail feed to cut off because someone already took his tail. So if you encounter someone using a gargo axe, that's why he took that gargoyle's tail. So if you have a level 5 claymore, it's going to be a pretty easy fight. Um, if you can cut the tail off, I would advise it. It's pretty cool. It's a cool weapon. I actually like it. I actually did a let's play just for fun. Was it? Back when I had an Xbox, uh, this was like one of the first games I ever got. Dark Souls uh, 1. And, um, I, no, sorry, what actually happened is I bought my friend Demon Souls for PlayStation 3. And we were both really bad at it. Like, we're really bad. We hated it. We're like, this game sucks, man. It's the worst game ever. Who would ever play this game? We can't get past the castle. And then when I got an Xbox, the only game I could, like, really find that was in my price range, was like a hundred bucks, was, uh, was Dark Souls. So I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. You know, how bad could it be? You know, let's try it out. So I bought Dark Souls and I tried it out and I realized like, wow, this game is super fun and I really like it. So I played it many, many times and I died many, many times. I sucked. I watched YouTube videos about the game. I watched how to beat Dark Souls playthroughs, 100% walk through Dark Souls things, just to learn everything about the game that I could because I sucked so much. And then the more I watched, hey, we got a trophy. The more I watched, the more I realized that the secret to Dark Souls is simply just know everything about the game and confidence if you know everything about the game and you're confident you'll be fine so that's what i did and then i just played the game over and over and over and eventually i got really good at it greetings greetings i am oswald of Karim, the park i like oswald to yet magnanimous of the gods cometh out to confess or to accuse uh, okay, so this guy is like Like useless pretty much because I'm not gonna be playing on um, Valkyrie's talis, what the hell is this? I don't even know what this is uh, I'm, I'm not gonna be playing on Online at all Who's bleeding resistance, who's poison resistance Poison one is actually kind of useful so I would actually have liked to have picked that up for the blight town, but I need like some more souls, so we can't get that right now. Learn just and uh, leave. You are not welcome anytime. It is only human to commit a sin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you freaking you have you have issues, dude? That guy's issues. So, um, yeah, so actually, that went pretty well. First gargoyle attempt, not bad at all. Um, as I said, if you want, 
Say you like new at the game and you really want to beat this boss easily. If you summon Lord Trick and Celeste, they will. I'm not even joking when I tell you this. But they will actually beat that boss on their own. They will actually beat that boss on their own. They are that good. They are that strong. So now maybe you won't have a level five claymore yet because you know you didn't go beat the butterfly. You didn't get all the free souls. You didn't maybe get the claymore because the dragon was super scary. You know you might have something else. But if you have pretty much any level five weapon and you two handed. You should be more than fine to be able to kill anything, any of these enemies. So I would advise doing that. So there's an elevator there that takes us away, but I just want to kill these two guys because they are kind of annoying. But I want to be very careful to only aggro one at a time. I think I just aggroed both of them, which is kind of exactly what I was trying not to do. Okay, there's three of them apparently, but they seem to not be able to leave that zone. If that's the case, that's really great for me. Pyromancy is broken. FYI, guys. Apparently, just use Pyromancy. <laughs> hey, who knew, guys? Who knew? You just use Pyromancy. You'd be fucking. Okay, I thought there was an item here. I only came here for the item, dude. Wasn't there supposed to be an item here? I feel robbed, guys. Guys, I feel robbed. I feel disappointed in the game and semi and myself for not remembering exactly 100% the controls of this game exactly perfectly. Look at our big ass sword, man. That's a that's a big sword. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a hollow. No, don't look at my hollow face. So you can jump down there to go fight a super secret boss if you want to. There's also items you can get up there, but we'll do that later on. I don't care too much. So you come out here and you're like, hey, where am I? I do not know where I am. Filing shrine? What? And then you realize that this whole game is intermingled. And that is what made Dark Souls so beautiful for so many people for such a long time. But... Uh, we quickly gonna just do a little bit of a secrety thing, but I think not really, because I think every player would have got this. It's almost impossible to miss. So you come down here, and there's like a ton of chests. See? A ton of chests. I feel like they move the chest around a bit though. Homewood bones, very, very useful. Morning star and a talisman if you want to go cleric build. You know, it's, it's the options there. The options there. Some red eye, cracked red eye orbs. Now that's for invading. Or getting away from evasions. I'm not entirely sure. I've never played online, obviously, because I never had online capabilities. Excuse me? Skeleton bros? I don't want to fight you guys. But don't misunderstand. I will. I will fight you. Except you guys will respawn forever. They, they will. They, they, I think they do actually respawn forever at this point of the game still. So you want to be very careful when coming through here. As skeletons are unkillable right now because we do not have divine power yet. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how that works. I kind of can't remember exactly. But it's supposed to be a, a secret item somewhere. Uh, as you guys can see, I kind of know where all the items are, so that makes the game semi easier. But, uh, I need to get you really fast to activate this so those skeleton bros will go away. Nope, can't get out because they're skeleton bros. So I think these guys actually have to like die or I can't like rest up, but they can't die. Or maybe they can die if you get them far enough from the. Ooh, I was scared. <laughs> I actually got a little bit frightened there. I was like, hey, what the hell is that noise? Sweet! Okay, so, uh, level up. Level up, level up. Um, I think we want more endurance. I think also a little more strength. And then, yeah, that's all we can get. Okay. Boom, level 22, boys and girls. We are not playing games. We are not playing games. Okay. Now, we've done the gargoyle section. And we start the base, water base. And there's a lot. Ooh, I just hit my mic. There's a lot more we can do in the water section of the map, like uh, uh, the, the forest section, like an entire second section. Uh, but we're going to be going to Blight Town next, because that would be where you'd go if you were playing the game naturally. Now, Blight Town sucks the big one, right? Do I have the key? I know I need a key. Excuse me, dude. I was in the middle of something. I can explain to my beautiful viewers what the hell I'm doing in Dark Souls. Oh wait, let's go speak to Lord Trek. We should go speak to Lord Trek. 
No trick. Now you can kick Lord Trick off the ledge to get the Fap Ring, which is actually like the best ring in the game. But I'm not going to be doing it so that we get like all the, if you're playing the game for the first time stuff, because you would never kill this guy in the first playthrough because he's a friendly unit. And who kills friendly units? Uh, not me. I don't know about you guys, but I don't. I have your reward. Please accept it. You see, he's such a friendly guy. He gave me a sunlight figure medal. You can also, there's another route you can take that goes down here. This is the shortcut into Blight Town. If you have the master key, you can use it. But unfortunately, of course, I didn't take the master key as my gift because I took no gift just to keep the game more interesting. But you can go down here. There's an elevator. The elevator goes down to like a ghosty section of the game where you need like um, some type of ghost hand thing to attack the enemies. And uh, yeah, it's a shortcut that takes you straight to Blight Town. It also lets you get a, like. 5,000 free soul pickup and a super good sword and shield as well as quite a lot of other really high level really early game items that I was going out of my way to not let happen this playthrough because I don't want to break the game for a first playthrough a fun playthrough it's not necessary you know what I mean we don't need to break the game we can just play it casually and that's why we're playing like a night bolt here it's pretty fun you know we got a giant claymore what else do you want in life why would you want anything else? We can have a giant claymore. It's very large. I hate the thing on his back though. I wish I could remove that. I wish there was like a, a hide, a hide sheath option in this game. Now, had I got the battle axe, let me say, I'll tell you right now, I would have used it. It's decent. It's really good. I thought there was a, uh, a stab attack. There we go. One handed. Okay. So stab attacks one handed. Oh man. Sekiro! Okay, so we want to head to Blight Town. Now, the way to Blight Town, if I remember correctly, which I actually don't remember at all. Oh, I, I, I literally exactly remember how to get to Blight Town. Never mind, I'll take it back. So we are going the right way. Now, Blight Town sucks. But you know what sucks more than Blight Town? The way to Blight Town. Because the hardest boss in the entirety of Dark Souls is on the way to Blight Town. And I know what you guys are thinking. That's a pretty that's a pretty big claim to make. The hardest boss in the entire of Dark Souls this early in the game? How is that possible? Well, let me tell you. The Capri Demon is a super annoying enemy. And it's pretty strong. And if you fight it in a small enclosed area where I'm going to fight it with two doggies running at you the whole time. It is very, very strong and very intimidating. I would not recommend noobs to try and fight the Capri Demon. You will get wrecked. Okay. So I'm actually going to choose to level up here. But again, endurance is always fun. Should we become a human? Reverse hollowing? Why not? Because I'm a hollow right now. Ah, it looks so much better now. Oh, thank the Lord. Whew, I was getting very angry but looking so ugly, but now I look great. So we got a bunch of keys. Uh, if you guys noticed in the previous episode, we picked up a bunch of keys. We got like 20 keys or something stupid. Now those keys are important because that's how you get to Blight Town with the keys. Without the keys, you cannot get to Blight Town. So. Dragon cut! Dragon! Run! And freedom. Use basement key. Oh, there's an item over there. No, that's fine. I want it, but I'm not gonna go back for it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pop it here. So this I really I really struggle with this area that's coming up right now. It's super hard for me. It's just one of those situations where it's the type of area it is. It's kind of like the hard counter to my playstyle, you know what I mean? So I really struggle with this upcoming area, but uh, you know. And then the worst part is this upcoming area, it goes to a boss. You know, a boss that that is not easy. You know, in my opinion, personally, one of the hardest boss. Now, it is semi cheesable, which helps a lot. But, oh man, what a boss fight. The boss will 100% one shot you if it gets you, which it might. Doggies. 
Doggy. Easy. Now you can stand behind this fire over here. And then doggies will run into fire and die. So that's just the easy way for you guys to handle that situation if you want. So the doggies are giving you a lot of trouble. There you go. Not this one, it's the next one. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? What you got into a room? I mean obviously you clearly walk into a room, right? Mm. I wanna see mm. I wanted to see if I could abuse that, but oh camera 180 switch. No, you gotta be careful about these guys, they're actually very annoying and strong. They can give you some serious problems. But luckily for us, as I mentioned, we've got the claymore as our weapon. So we've got that extra range, you know what I'm saying? So that's extra range, doesn't mean shit if they gangbang you like that. I heard a very scary noise. It sounded like, Ooh, no, camera, please. What are you doing? This is like secure style lock on. Cameras. Okay, oh man, I was getting some flashbacks to secure. Uh, lock on just messing you up big time. I feel very heavy. Why am I so heavy? I've got 30.5 weight to the half wall, so I'm not fat at all. Why is the game make me feel like I'm fat? I feel like I'm fat, but I'm not fat, so it's kind of like confusing me. Use residence key. I did not even know I had this. Hello. You opened the door for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, the sorcerer of the school. Mm. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Sweet. I'm very happy you can resume your travels. Now give me an item as a reward. Hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. What is your task? Sorcerer hat, sorcerer cloak, sorcerer gloves, and sorcerer boots, and a sorcerer catless. Now, I've never played a sorcerer. Actually, I have played a sorcerer world. I found it to be the most difficult playthrough of the game, even though everyone said it's the new way to play the game. I do not agree at all. Okay, I don't agree at all. Every single one of you mother effers that said it's the most new way to play the game, you're lying to me. Okay? You are lying. It is really hard. Okay, it's really hard. Now, but you guys might be wondering why I'm hitting a door like a widow. Well, they are assassins in this door. I I don't know what happened. And they, you can kill them. You see, dead assassin. Dead assassin. And this is what I was talking about. Just knowledge. Knowledge is power, right? I knew there were assassins in this door, so I hit the door. Do damage through the door, kill the assassin, and take no damage. Now there's doggos coming up here. They're kind of annoying as F. I like to put on some... Uh, whoa. Some firebombs. I only have the black one though. I don't like using the black firebomb because it's so much stronger than a normal firebomb. I always feel like it's a waste. Dogs will run at me. Dogs will run at me. Dogs will run at me. Or not today maybe? Can I maybe do something cool? Like <laughs> It did not work but the dog ran at me So I guess it kind of worked maybe I don't know So there's two assassins here too One in this door And one Three assassins Never mind. There are three assassins I thought there was two assassins We see him I was really wrong There are three assassins Luckily there's no dog anymore So I'm slightly more confident now Because the dog is the main difficulty in this section now assassins will one-shot you too because they can parry you. And if they parry you, they do a lot of damage. I'm going to heal to full for the upcoming boss, which is, as I've mentioned before, the hardest boss in the game. In my personalized opinion, for whatever that counts. There's another dog, I see you. And swipe. A little bit early swipe there, but it looked like the timing was just right. Some thief things. Beautiful. Feels good. I don't, I'm sure I've checked these rumors, but for some reason I get like this feeling I haven't. Ooh, okay guys, all of you watching right and now, every single one of you guys, wish me luck. Wish me all the luck, okay? We are about to fight what is, in my opinion, the hottest boss of Dark Souls. Let's go.
Don't do it, Capra Demon! Run up the stairs, run up the stairs! No, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Run up the stairs, run up the stairs, run up the stairs. Okay, I'm, I'm safe. No, the Capra Demon's on me! Why did I fall off the ledge, game? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Unless I get this heal up right now. Okay, good. Where's the doggo? Come, doggo. First, take out the doggo. Doggo, the one number one is dead. I'm gonna pop a second heal. Okay, now we just gotta be over here, right? The Capri even can't hit me right here, right? Just in case, and then. I'm, I, I missed the Capri Demon. I missed the Capri Demon. I'm gonna use Capri Demon Cheese because I think it's the only way I'm gonna be able to beat him because I'm not good enough to fight the Capri Demon. Oh, man. Okay, this guy, he, he, he's a problem. Okay, he's a problem. What if I do this, I guess? Uh, no. Run up the stairs. I feel like that did not land. No, Capri Demon. Don't do it, Capri Demon. Think about my children. I don't have children. Why does that keep... Oh, man. That sucks. Um, Capri Demon. Did he fall off a ledge? No, he did not. I don't want to fight you, Capri Demon. I said I don't want to fight you. I want to run away from you. I really want to run away from you. My, my entire life goal is to just run away from you forever. Listen to the music! What am I supposed to do in this situation? He actually got me? I think I missed him. I think I missed him! Game! Did I miss the Capri freaking Demon? Did you let me miss the Capri Demon right now? Would you actually do me dirty like this? I hate you so much, Capri Demon. You don't understand. You're the pain of my actual existence. Why does that land all of a sudden? Gotta pop it. No way. Gotta pop the humanity. Oh, for some reason I had iframes during that. I don't think you're supposed to have iframes during that. Pop another humanity. Okay, I'm on full HP. Where you? Why is that landing? There we go. That's how you do it. Took two humanities. Like, that fight is like the bane of my existence. I've got like mental blocks against the Capri Demon because he's like so strong, man. He's so strong. Why is he so strong? Okay, we killed the Capri Demon first go, which is the best I've ever done. It. Now there is. An assassin over there. You see that assassin over there? You see that motherfucker? You see this mother effer right over there? I see you. There we go. And then you go like this. Excuse me. <laughs> what is the travel distance on that? Excuse me. Excuse me, can I just lock on? Thank you. The reason why I'm being so fucking careful is because there is a freaking assassin right around the corner. And I didn't want to use another humanity, but I'll do it. I'll freaking do it, okay. Okay, now that I've got full HP, I ain't scared of you, assassin motherfuckers. And then assassin number. Mm, I see you. I didn't see you guys. I was maybe being a little bit more of a baby, I need. So this is where we want to go next in the game. Through this door over here. That goes to the underground waterway type section. It's very shitty. I hate it. It's super scary and um, horrible. Hello, Archer boy. Was there Adam down there? And doesn't look like it. 
So don't fall off this ledge. If you guys fall off this ledge, you will hate your lives forever. Trust me, I've done it. That's how I know. And this is into the rat area. Hello. You still have your senses about you. Then why won't you buy some of my moss? I need your souls. <laughs> 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 this thing's so weird. Purchase items. So she sells some good shit. Like really good shit. Um, which you might want to pick up a bit of. The specifically the poison arrows are really good. Um, they just like a really nice way to cheese the game. I think what I will do is I'll pick up uh, some charcoal pine resin. I want like... Ooh, that's really expensive. Mmm. That's about all. This is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it too, I really, really do. Nothing good ever happened to me in life. But now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. I'm so glad. <laughs> I like you actually, even though you're kind of creepy as if, by the way. Anyway, um, as you'll see now, we're going to get to an uh, area that looks might look pretty familiar. We have four humanity just floating. Are we undead or li human? We are human, okay. But against the Capri Demon, I don't even feel bad about using four humanity. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. The Capri Demon isn't a boss to take lightly. As it will F you up. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the Filing Shrine. So we've got a couple of people to kill along the way. Hello. Oh, pillage body. Pillage body. Battle axe. Battle axe. Nope, that's so not a battle axe. You have, oh, you battle axe. Boy. I thought you other. Excuse me. Battle axe now. Oh. Where my battle axe at game? Wow. That not work. <laughs> Oops. I've actually fallen off here before and died. It's the most... Horrifying experience known to mankind, by the way. Hello. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? Not really. You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I'm happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? I mean, I have to say yes, but Splendid. I'm not actually Very interested. Well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then. Let's get started straight away. Purchase yeah. items. He sells a lot of uh, spells. Four controls, great. And uh, magic weapon is pretty good. He also sells sorcerer's catalyst and he sells two sorcerer rings, which we will not be buying because we are not then. sorcerers. Stay safe. We uh, got the big ass claim on a burning hand. Now, I think there should be a freaking party going on over here already. Yeah, see, there's a big party going on over there. We're going to go speak to the party soon, don't worry about it. But first, I want to just rest up this bonfire. Level up and end the episode. Leveling up. So let's get some more endurance. And um, wow, it's actually getting really expensive for level now. So I'm gonna go like this. Oh, it's actually what? I can only level up twice, dude. It's actually getting to a point where levels are becoming costly. Uh, more, more vitality. I think I'm gonna go a little bit more heavy on vitality and endurance for the start of the game, and then we'll fix our st other stats up as we go because we don't know yet. What we're going to be, you know, what type of class we're going to be, what kind of strategy we're going to go. Right now we're using the claymore and the light armor, but that could change as we go through the playthrough if we get better equipment. For now though, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Dark Souls Remastered. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. I hope this has been a little bit of an informative type episode where I'm giving some uh, hint for hints and tips and advice through the game. And also exciting to watch, even though it's been a little bit on the easier side so far, but this is because, you know, I have played the games before. Not this one, Remastered, but I've played normal Dark Souls, and so far, to me at least, nothing has changed. But without further ado, that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time with more Dark Souls Remastered, where we go to the underground sewers, I guess you could call them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.